Yo, what's up? It's your boy PBO Joe, aka Trainer Black, here for the week two game. We are watching the Tokyo Teddy Ursus versus the was it the Philadelphia Flagons? That's the matchup, right? Yep. All right. So I'm here with my boy Tay. I'm here with, of course, uh, the Sogaleos uh, captain or coach Aiden. What's, what's up? What's yeah. Up? What's up? What's All up? Right. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go. Hi. What are you guys thinking about this matchup? Um, I know in Pickums, I believe we picked the uh, token or the the Teddy Ursus to win. Mm-hmm. Um, Chin Pao, uh, looks like he can go pretty crazy, and then Annihilate and Primina, uh Dragonite obviously can go crazy. Let's we'll see. Definitely, definitely. That is. What do, you, what do you think, Tay? I think it's very interesting because it seems like you guys forgot about Scizor. Like Scizor goes crazy against this guy a bandit scissor you Wait. know it's like sorry, sorry, one sec. what's this what's the name on this electrode <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> you love to see it so, sorry to interrupt you what would you say to <laughs> i'm saying scissor kind of just from much of point of view what i'm seeing right now scissor kind of goes crazy mm. scissor can um deal with the chain power easily bug move u-turn kills electrode if it's bandit mm-hmm um, Wouldn't bullet, bullet punch just be better? <laughs> it, well, until, um, until if Terra is not. Yeah, well, Chin Pao can't Terra. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's about the Electro. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought that we were talking about Chin Pao. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, t- Chin Pao yeah, gets taken punch, out. Yeah, Bullet Punch hits Chin Pao, Bullet Punch for Pre Marina, um, U Turn on the Electro and so forth. All right, tell me. Overheat. Okay, okay. I wonder. Okay, interesting, interesting. No leftovers, so it might be scarfed or resto chesto. No vest? I don't think it's vest because it took 70% from overheat. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the sack as well. Um, probably. Probably. Yeah, that, but no, it, it took that overheat very well. It's decent in speed F, base 90 speed F, and it has over 100 HP. That's true. It's, that's very true. true. It's I'm really... sorry. Is this a Russian name now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> Russian. Boy, these nicknames. Right, this is this is some heat right here. I can't I can't read it. I but I did take like you know Duolingo like Russian lessons or whatever, and I I recognize that that is Russian. Mm, mm, okay, U turn. All right, I respect it. Probably Scarf Scarf Ape. Ape. Scarf yeah, Ape might be. I think he brings Scarf Ape just because of as a. You know, and then he vault switches on to the electrode, okay? Right now, we're just doing some positioning. Any any special move hits Reason hard. So even if it's 100%. just Thunderbolt, it probably does like 70% or something. If it's Magnet Thunderbolt, it may have a role to kill or a life orb. Let me see, let me see. So it's saying that Thunderbolt should do, let's see. I mean, obviously, I don't have the sets for this team, but it's yeah, saying that's... roughly it could do about, it's about two hit KO. Yeah. It make it fizz up wheezing. I don't know because wheezing has to be here for the ape, right? Mm-hmm. So it has to be fully fizz up. Well, here's the thing I have no spadef, I have HP. Like, there's max HP on this investment, no spadef. And it says about a two hit KO if it's magnet, uh, depending on if it's modest or timid. Obviously, uh, that may vary, but it should be about a two hit KO if he goes for Thunderbolt. So he's more than likely gonna have to switch. Yeah, so is that. This the ice? Uh, I think it's Terra Ice, Terra Fairy, if I had to guess. Yeah, it's Terra Ice, Terra Fairy. I remember. Trust me, I remember. <laughs> so that Electrode's nickname is Korean, nice. and it's, it's, uh, I think it translates to My Heart Explodes. Oh, okay. And then the Annihilate, uh, it is Russian, and it's, um, it translates to Blow Full of Anger. Mmm, okay. Taunt. I respect it. Play rough. That did, oh, Is that it called Wheezy? That did good. That Hello? Did. Do you know what though? I will say this: I'm loving the the diverse, uh, diversity. He's passing the uh, diversity quarter with all these nicknames. It's got a name for around Dude, the world. Philadelphia in my like week five game is about to pull up with like special scissor, and I'm about to get fucking six would Hey, we'd love to see <laughs> it. <laughs> that's that's what you call tech right there. Holy shit! Can we also just take a moment to appreciate the name Rizadelphia? That's a great name. <laughs> representing all right so we've seen the electro um go for the sorry what do you go for play rough went for the play rough almost did about half uh the electro went for the taunt maybe expecting like t-spikes um potentially which makes like sense because obviously um more toxic toxic as well um because obviously this team doesn't have any way to really deal with hazards 
So it's like if if uh, Rosadelphia or the Flygons are able to hazard stack, yeah. then this team will be in a lot of trouble. But so far though, it's been pretty slow. Nothing nothing too crazy. More so just I feel like they're trying to feel each other out, get an idea of what sets they may be running. But yeah, it's too it's too early to say right now who has the edge. Okay, good vault switch. Get get some positioning. Let's see what are they gonna vault switch out into. I don't know. If I had to say right now, I'd say he's maybe either the ape, possibly pre marina. But I feel like the Nile is probably going to be the, the one he wants to vote for Shine to because the Sakazar shouldn't really be able to do much damage to him and it's going to build up his Rage Fist and yeah. What what foreign language nickname are we going to see now? We've seen Korean, we've seen Russian, and we've seen Chinese. Hmm. We haven't seen Chinese, it's just Korean and Russian so far. All that's came out is the... Uh... Oh, we didn't see Chinese? Oh, oh, no, it's oh, just oh, Korean and oh, Russian. Korean. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm not, I'm not fluent yet in uh, Korean, so <laughs> my bad. Hey, yeah, it's Russian again. <laughs> okay, back into the ape. Nice play. I mean, I'm not fluent either. That's why we have Google Translate I'm open in the other tab. I'm telling you, I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm just waiting to get the uh, the new Apple headset so then I can learn all the languages so I won't need a translator. <laughs> nice. As soon as I get 3,500, then we should be good. <laughs> so my cash app will be in the description. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fundraising to learn all the languages. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. So let's see. I've seen the switch out to ape. Now, what does the psychos all do? What do you think? What do you think is the best play right now for Rizadelphia? Um, personally, he's gonna click U turn here. I, I think yeah. you. I think you get in Gagar no matter what type. And Probably. start with hazards. Get your hazards up, because this thing more than likely is, right? Mm hmm. If he can't click Rage Fist here because you're a normal type, he's more than likely gonna click U turn or CC. Yeah. But um, CC is bad because he can go Weezing. Yeah. Even the Gagar takes nothing from the CC, so. That's true. More than likely, have to just U turn here. There you go. I feel like I definitely agree with that play. I mean, potentially the Weezing might not be bad if it's scoffed because it shouldn't be doing pretty much nothing to the Weezing. Yeah, Weezing is the, the, the safest bet, right? Just in case he predicts and probably hits. Ice punch or something, but I do think ice punch is bad. Yeah. Like. Well, with uh, Utah, we I know this thing has that... to be some sort of choice. But not sure. Is if it was banded, it would do way more than three percent to wheezing. What move did he go for on the wheezing again? Let me see. Let me, let me double check. You turn. You turn. I mean, it depends on the wheezing, but the wheezing definitely did look offensive with how much it did to that uh, electrode. So. For sure. So yeah, that probably you're probably you're probably spot on with that, but we will see. We'll definitely see. Yeah, U turn does two point nine to three point five. Yeah. So now that if it was banded, then it's four point four to five point three. Yeah, it would do more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um. Probably scar for resto chesto. I think resto chesto. Um, maybe because he fears getting toxic. Because I do, Gligar still gets toxic, right? Or is it only Gligar score? Um, I don't have to double check, but I'm pretty sure he gets I toxic. I am not sure. I'm pretty sure he gets toxic. Um, I don't want to say... Yeah, he gets fact. toxic. Okay, yeah, there you go. He gets toxic and T-Spike, so I do think he may bring my still chest, though. I mean, Rizadolf is really thinking about this play right, play right now, so I'm curious to see what they do. Because, like you said, it seems like a simple switch, but with the amount of time they're thinking, I don't know. I think he's just trying to think if if he predicts him switching. Because oh, if he predicts punch? him switching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just the ice punch. If he switches into Weezing, his rage fist is at base 100 now, right? Well, that's true. That's a very good point. So I don't know how much Weezing takes. But <clears throat> Weezing should be full fist death because of Ape. Actually, no. No. Because uh, wasn't it... Wasn't it um the electro of a volt switch? So he hasn't actually hit this thing yet. So this thing's rage fist is at fifty. No, my, no, he hit it with overheat. Did he have overheat? Yeah, it is. It is a hundred. Yeah. Oh my bad, my bad. Okay. Oh, does it does it stay even when you switch out? Yeah. It oh, just forever, that's man. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, the more you know, the more you know. I thought it was like it resets when you switch out. Okay, yeah, no, that's definitely. Bro, annihilate is broken. <laughs> ah, that that makes that move so much better. I, Okay, very good knowledge. Terra Fairy, Terra Blast. Okay, my boy's cooking. I did not expect the Terra Fairy there. That was a very good play. 
but obviously mm. gives them the free switch into the shiny earth worm now what language is this we're about to find out um what i don't know what See, that is some of those look like my statistics terms <laughs> so it's, some, it's latin i think it's latin it's greek and greek. Oh, the name yeah. is subway surfer nice nice okay okay <laughs> Hey, I have to give Tokyo like for creativity a ten. Like I'm loving these. Uh, different we gotta nicknames. we gotta write down these nicknames for <laughs> for like you know nickname of the season or whatever. Hundred percent. Or best nickname. I think the Korean one is the best one so far. I wonder. I wonder if this is like some sort of riddle he's trying to tell us with his team. Like, there's an answer to his team with the names. You know. <laughs> I think the electro just explodes. <laughs> There you go. It did yeah. explode something, right? I don't know. Okay, so turn six right we now. Still have, oh, we still have three nicknames we haven't seen yet. That is true. So turn six right now. We've seen Rizadelphia do pretty good right now. I mean, they've they've been able to get some good damage off on the ape. Um, gain some good information in terms of knowing that it's scarfed. Uh, let's see what else have they done. Uh, got some decent damage off on the Electro. But for the uh, Tokyo Teddy Houses, let's see. What, what have they done so far? I mean, they've gotten it's somewhat decent scarred. damage. Oh, what's not scarf the the ape? No, because it was scarf would hit U turn first. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yes, it's gonna start sucking up his hazards now, which oh, I do think. Is... I mean, but obviously we we're, we're assuming or we have to ex expect the the cycles are to be regenerated. So even oh, good play, great play, great play. Get the Qian Pao in now. Now this has this is Chinese, right? Am I right? This is Chinese. Um. We're about to find out. <laughs> it looks like it. it looks like Mandarin. So. It is Chinese. Traditional Chinese. Traditional Chinese. Um, Let's go. Says, I love Among Us. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. And do you know what's cool he... as well? Oh, was you going to say, Tay? I'm, not wondering, I'm, I'm wondering what's the switch here. Because I don't that's... know. If, like, I still crash on G Weezing as bad, right? Um, <laughs> neutralizing gas, that definitely helps. Oh, the sword! Oh dance. shit! Here we go. Oh, he's cooking. He's cooking. Doesn't Vaporeon just come out on this thing? Mm, like, I don't think yet. I, just, don't, I think. I don't know if you want to go hot Vaporeon. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go hot Vaporeon yet. I this, thing, thing has Willow Wisp. this thing might have clear smog as well. It might have clear well, smog then, or Willow Wisp, yeah. which Willow might be better. This wheezing is tanky as the burn. Fuck. The burn? No burn. Okay. Well, that's great. Damage. I do think he should have had Willow Wisp. He's he's, he's no, bullet I punch range. Kill. He was in bullet punch range from the start. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, this, this thing's bulkier than right. you think. All right, now nope. now, now, now the sizzle but, just comes. Okay, out. so no matter what, uh, I guess it's because this is. If that's not no, I okay. So my guess is that Sword of Ruin is still active on my Kelt because I can't remove it. Because mm -hmm. um, it's saying I spent our, like does ninety six percent. Clearly, that is not the case. Yeah, no, neutralizing yeah, like gas is gonna is gonna deal with that. Ooh, yup, there it is. Wait a minute. I knew it I, Willow. If he Mike was Willow. Oh, this isn't good. Anything kills on the Cyclozar. Everything. Wait, is he, is... Everything kills. Yeah, you get, it's gonna be a six zero. Yeah, it might just be. Uh, he's gonna go Vaporeon. Oh, Vaporeon. BG. Sucker Punch has a chance to kill. It's a roll. I think Sacred Sword Skull? doesn't Sacred Sword kill. Skull, Skull might kill. Sacred Sword does not kill Sucker Punch. None of these um, kill has a chance. For, um, Sucker Punch. It has a chance. Skull yeah. can kill. It's saying Skull has a chance to kill. Um, we're seeing one hit KO, but I mean, we'll see. But uh, Sucker Punch is saying has a 37% chance to Oko, depending if it is the set that is shown. Yeah. Um, what if he's max adamant? defense, max HP, so like... Man, what Tokyo putting in work. What, what if Jin is adamant? adamant? What if it's adamant? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Then it almost guarantees an Oko. Yeah, it Sacred Sword has a 6% chance to Oko. Man, it's a 93% chance for the Oko. At, at 80%. Alright. Yeah. I think he's adamant just because he has sucker punch. That makes sense. That then, makes sense. And then Grinch. Oh, oh why wish? He wish? 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 Why? What are you wishing for? <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that play. I mean that... Oh no. Probably, this um... thing. 
That might be a 6-0. I think that's a 6-0. No, it's probably Focus Wait, Sash. Wait, Focus Sash. Oh, no, the Wish. The wish. Focus Sash? Yeah. No, wish isn't going to... I don't think Wish is going to... He has to protect on this thing or, like, have a way to prevent damage. And then get the Wish, restore the Focus Sash, and go no, for it that way. No. It doesn't happen. Wow, so a, a 16 turn 6 all. Wow, okay. I, I guess I was underestimating uh, the Teddy S's. I wasn't familiar with their game, but wow. Being a dominant start to the season. 2-0, and o, a 6-0 in week two. Oh, my. Hey, let's just, hey big shout out to, uh, to the Teddy S's. Unfortunately, though, for Philadelphia, they do pick up their first loss of the season, which, you know, it's not nice, but, you know, this is a really good team, really good opponent, so don't get too down on it. Um, You can bounce back next week, but, yeah, man, wow. Big, big ups to Teddy S's with that, with that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to why Riz didn't run... Willow is over flames, or at what percentage was he? I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that is a very good point. I I thought maybe we might see a clear smoke, but the fact that he flame throw there was definitely questionable. Because it's like, mm -hmm. unless, but even then, I did. I don't know. I like clear smoke was fine, right? Yeah, because he could have. But 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 I do think Willow is just better because he has Dragonite, he has Annihilate, he has a chain power. That's true. Getting a burn on any one of these is basically set up for there for anything on his team. Right? If he was nasty got himself or something. I agree one hundred percent. I mean Willow is Willow is probably is the bell the move to have right there, but the fact that like you brought that in and you went for the flamethrower and obviously it wasn't enough and then once that swords dance went up, I mean it was pretty much game from there, so <laughs> Well hey, that is the, the, the... game. Oh we just want to say uh Sogaleos, what's up? Yeah, so I I got the paste from the um from the Teddy Ursus, the nickname on the Permarina mm -hmm. um is M Malayalam. Okay. Uh and mean? it means fat woman. Oh. Um okay. And so, then well. the Dragonite was Hindi. <laughs> it was silly fuck boy. Nice, nice, very <laughs> nice. Well, you know, it's not over till the fat lady sings, but I guess the fat lady has sung considering this was a 6-0. Um, very good nicknames by Teddy Essers and congratulations on the 6 0. Do you guys have any closing thoughts for this game? Chin pass broken. I don't know why they allowed it, but here we are. Very true. <laughs> Tay, what about you? Uh, my only closing thought is like, why not Willow? <laughs> That's the only thing. I'm just why confused. not Willow? A very yeah. good point. Well, that is this game uh, for week two. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This was, you know, PBR Joe, aka Trainer Black. My boy Tay and the captain of the Segaleos, aka Aiden. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy and peace.